Behind me at the Palm Beach Boat Show is hull number one of Tiara's new 60EX. This is the largest boat that Tiara has built and also the latest and it's packed full of features. So let's take a look around. So immediately boarding, you can see these very large hydraulic wings. These are port and starboard. And these fold at dock height, which increases the width from just under 17 feet to 20 feet. It's a high-low bathing platform. And we have pull-out shocks for taking a tender. There's also has a lovely aft, basically dining center. You've got trash. There you have your electric grill. We have pull out refrigeration. And that is not a lift up one, but that looks like an ice maker. Yes, it is. Now, nice touches as well. They've put the cleats on the aft bulkhead here so they don't obstruct the bathing platform, so you don't catch your feet around this very clean edge. And as you can see, the stern cleats are here, well forward, so you have this really nice, unobstructed, bathing platform. Our boarding is here port and starboard. So we're out the starboard side. And here in this aft section, this is there are actually two different configurations for this, but this is more of a leisurely entertaining area, so it has this gorgeous teak table. And we're seating and dining easily comfortable for eight people. And there are these plush stools which can be put either end to extend it to 10. The other option is if you're more fishing inclined, they do uh, an off section. So if you think of what we saw at the back, that sort of cooking space, uh, as more of a fishing orientated. So they'll put rod holders at the back, you've got a live bait well in the middle, and then you grill to the left and storage. Uh, but personally, I think this option is better suited to a boat of this type. Moving up into the cockpit, we have this hydraulic high-low sort of bar counter. So it can be set at two heights, be raised and lowered. So at this height, you've got a sort of counter height bar where you can sit at with these three stools, and these have storage in them. Or it can be raised up almost as a cocktail bar across the top. Now moving further, depth of detail, we have a cool box, a very large cool box built in here, and that has a cooling plate on the bottom, uh, so that can keep drinks cool without the need for any ice. And that's mimicked over here on the starboard side, under this bolster here. Uh, this one is purely just a, uh, this isn't chilled, this, this is purely uh, you can, for ice storage. Anyway, let's continue forward and have a look on the bow. So, moving up the sides, plenty of room. Nice wide side decks. And this composite teak is very easy to maintain, very easy to wash down. And continuing the more and more features, we have these fabulous pop-up lights all the way through the boat. And this lovely, lounging area forward. Now we've also got these receptacles here take carbon fiber poles and you can see these little catches on the front so this whole area can be covered with an awning. And then of course we have 
storage. Now these are both port and starboard, plenty of room in here for lines. And then in the bow, you've got room for your shore power cable cleaning. There's your electric windlass. And then further forward again, we have the anchor locker. And I like these nice brackets for holding lines. So you can hold four pretty substantial lines forward here, easy to hand and out the way. And this is a very uncluttered arrangement again. There's nothing to foul toes or cause knocks and bangs to feet. And of course, we've got this low level LED lighting built into the, uh, the Cummings down the side. So this will all be lit at night. We'll head down to engineering. And Tiara have done a superb job of this. And one of the benefits of not having a tender garage and using a high low is it creates this almost standing headroom engineering space and there's loads of room around these big Volvo IPS 1350s. Plenty of access to C strainers. There are of course your Raycor fuel filters. You've got your big engine batteries here and your house batteries over there. There's your hot tank. You've got your electrical aft, your Cummins generator, fire suppression and the other thing, because they've moved the fuel tank forward, it's created full width. So as an engineer working in this engine space, it would be a pleasure. And of course, these can be cross-filled from port and starboard, and you don't have the problem of two tanks cross-filling. It all goes into one tank. And of course, you can see a little IP-based camera that views from the helm. So stepping through into this fabulous saloon, there is no detail missed. So there's masses of refrigeration. We have freezer drawers below. All kept in check with sea catchers. It's Corian work tops. There is of course your pop-up TV on the saloon side. And this one's a 55 inch. And moving through continues with storage everywhere. Even under the seats, every inch is utilized. So moving forward, we have this dual station here and crowned by a huge hard top. And this hard top lifts up and back. I'm not going to open it because it's very hot here today and I don't want to cook the, the cockpit. Uh, but it creates a huge open space. And by lifting and moving back, this whole space is opened up. And it's also flanked by this electric side door. Offering massive ventilation. We have two huge Garmin displays, 22 inch. Uh, you can see here the engine room, so we've got camera system, there's your media, your sound system, that's your engine displays, you have vessel displays, uh, that's your FLIR, heat signature camera and this being an IPS boat also has the option of this joystick control and this joystick not just controls the boat when you're running unlike just a docking joystick this also has the latest software suite so it can be used whilst driving but also when you're docking it will use a GPS system to quantify speed so if you're trying to dock against a current 
this will actually control your speed at the same rate no matter what the current or wind is it will keep the boat where you want it and moving down here we have a charging station there's also by my feet an electrically activated footrest so this boat can actually be driven with this joystick just sitting back you can use the FLIR camera forward at night so you can run this without even having to stand up you sit back and just watch the instruments so let's take a look down below this is a three cabin boat moving forward this V-berth stateroom which is the second stateroom massive headroom there's a good eight feet in here plenty of light plenty of room around the bed and there is access to the heads here. This is a shared heads between this forward cabin and the starboard stateroom. This also acts as a day head, so we have a door here from the companionway. And then there is a twin cabin with a TV. plenty of hanging storage all lined moving aft to the master this is full beam lots of nice touches have a large 55 inch TV it's a vanity I do rather like these lit glass side tables to the master bed, which is a king size bed. And we have hanging lockers over here and washer dryer over here under the companion stairs. There's more storage here as well quite a nice deep locker so plenty of accommodation for three couples cruising in comfort so one of the things I particularly like on this boat is the engineering oh and uh, I nearly forgot there is a drop-down TV one touch operation of course can be viewed from anywhere in this stern area. <laughs> 